Please help me welcome Peter Servas from Double Mat. All right, I will kick it off. Name is Peter Servas. I'm president and co-founder of Double Map. Uh, we do real-time information for transit systems. It all started at IU. Any IU fans out here? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> started it at IU. I ran for student body president, uh, was elected. Ilya, my co-founder, was in charge of one of our five initiatives. He got to pick last, so he, he got transit, which no one was interested in working on. So he quickly realized that a lot of these other universities had ways to see where your buses were in real time. IU did not. So we started calling around, seeing if there were companies we could do it. We were getting you know, $100,000, $200,000 quotes, and just decided, you know, we're, we're both pretty cheap guys. We said, we'll do it ourselves. So. I called the Dean of the Informatics School. We got a group of students to work actually under Ilya to come up with a concept. So he found a website online that said how to track cell phones or how to track vehicles with cell phones. So those old brick cell phones you can imagine, we, we put those in 25 buses, had some informatics students from IU uh, start hacking away on a project. Uh, ultimately, we really failed. Didn't really work well. It was uh, something that, that wasn't impressive but got us excited. So. Met with IU, they said there was nothing there to really patent or that they could move forward on, so they said, if you guys want to go run with this idea, go for it. So at that point, we met our third partner, Eric, um, and Eric helped us really redesign the product. We were very lucky in the sense that tablets were just gaining acceptance. So uh, as tablets were gaining acceptance, we decided, all right, we're done with cell phones, let's, let's redo everything and start from the ground up and leverage these inexpensive tablets. So at that point, we decided, um, you know, let's go after this. So the three of us went to our jobs. Eric worked at Google. I worked at an investment bank. Ilya worked at a consulting firm. And the idea was, let's just see if we can get this up and running. The sales cycles are six months to two years. They take a long time. Uh, we, you know, didn't think we could really raise any money. Uh, so we just tried to, tried to do it. Uh, closed a few clients. And at that point, we said, all right, let's go all in. That was three years ago. We said, let's, let's try and do this. And we realized public transit would get big federal grants to go after new projects. So the thought was, all right, let's just try and win one of these. So we won one. And this is an example of kind of the bus. So we do, we do products that go across the whole bus, everything from announcements that go through the speaker system to apps that show you where they are to lasers that count you without knowing it, kind of like your garage laser, so you know how many people got on and off the bus. Uh, so from there, it was just, all right, how are we going to scale this business? Is it large enough to really go after venture capital? We met with a few firms, got a few offers, and, and I was adamantly against, in our case, getting venture capital only because it's such a small market. So we said, all right, let's just try it on our own. Let's see what we can do. So from there, that's where you really start hustling. So I was the only sales guy for the first two years, a lot of cold calls, a lot of pushing, uh, a lot of just trying to get in any door you could. Uh, so this is kind of the growth of our, our company. Uh, some of the logos that we have, uh, the clients we've got. So started with one, one client, IU. Uh, from there, you can see kind of the, the annual growth in clients. Um, so this is B2B, longer sales cycles, uh, primarily targeting universities, public transit systems, and corporations. We've got a couple hospitals and airports in there as well. Uh, what's exciting is when you go into places like Apple, you know, top tech company in the world. Uh, they've been working on their own solution because they spend $35 million a year transporting their employees to and from work as well as around campus. So I had been hunting that for two years and finally they gave us a chance to pitch and they said, oh, you know, we kind of like these guys out of Indiana. Uh, we're going to go with them. So we closed a contract last year with Apple. We've installed and we're, we're quasi live. We're uh, live on some of, their, some of their vehicles, but we're going to be on all three or 400 vehicles they have uh, out in Cupertino. So you, you can see kind of the growth in clients here. We've had about 100% growth in top line revenue as well as clients since we formed the business. The last thing that's kind of interesting, we did a small acquisition. So I saw a product that wor worked like Uber, but for private uh, environments. So safe rides late at night at universities. You log in first and then you get an Uber-like experience. So we actually acquired that business and we're paying them out over three years on a royalty based on how many clients we acquire. We've now got 20 clients. So it was a big success for us. We're happy with that. Um, so that's kind of an overview of the business, uh, what we've done. And I'm going to go hide from Matt before he starts getting technical with me. <laughs> Thank you.
Want more secrets from inside the minds of entrepreneurs and innovators around the world? Subscribe to our YouTube channel here and click the link below. We'll send you our best interviews and strategies for growing your business.